Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded triangle ABP such that the length of this line segment CP is 5, whereas this line segment BP is 3, and the angle between them are 120 each. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here is our action plan. Before we calculate the area of this green triangle, we must calculate BC, AB, and AC. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and find the length BC. And we will use the law of cosines to calculate BC. And here's the law of cosine a square equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine of alpha. In our case, this is 120 degrees is our angle alpha. And this side that we are going to calculate is side a is this one, which is of course bc. I'm going to call this side lowercase b and this is lowercase c. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this cosine formula. So this is going to become, this is BC square equal to five square plus three square minus two times five times three. Cosine of our angle alpha is 120 degrees. And we know that cosine of 120 degrees is negative 1 over 2. We are going to replace it over here. Let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. So BC square equal to this become 25 plus 9 minus this is 30 times negative 1 over 2. So that means it's going to become 34 plus 15 means BC square turns out to be 49. And I am going to call this equation 1. And now in this next step, we are going to find the length AC. This length we are going to find. And since we don't know the length of this line segment AP, let me go ahead and call let me go ahead and call this AP line segment equal to X. So I'm going to call X. And moreover, the measurement of this angle APC is going to be 120 degree as well, since the sum of all these angles, three angles is 360 degrees. And we are going to use the law of cosine once again. In this case, I'm going to call this angle alpha this one. The opposite side, I'm going to call A, which is indeed is AC. All right. And this one, I'm going to call line segment B. And this one, I am going to call C. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So are we going to put down AC square over here? In our case, B is 5 square plus C is X square minus 2 times 5 times X cosine of 120 degrees. And we know that the cosine of 120 degrees is negative 1 over 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Let's simplify furthermore. AC square equal to 25 plus X square minus 10x times negative 1 over 2. So this is going to become AC square equal to 25 plus x square plus 5x. And let's rearrange this one so I can write AC square equal to x square plus 5x plus 25 and I am going to call this as an equation number 2 and in this next step we are going to find the length a b this one and once again we will be using law of cosine which is right here so in this case I'm going to call this angle alpha the opposite side I'm going to call this one a 
which is indeed a b and then i am going to call this over here as b and this one i'm going to call c so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so a in our case is a b square equal to b in our case is 3 square this is x square minus 2 times 3 times x and cosine of 120 degrees and we know that the cosine of 120 degrees is negative 1 over 2 we're going to replace it over here so let's simplify that one so this is a b square equal to 9 plus x square minus 6 x times negative 1 over 2 so let's simplify furthermore so a b square equal to 9 plus x square and that is going to give us plus 3x let's rearrange these terms so i can write a b square equal to x square plus 3x plus 9 and i'm going to call this as an equation 3 and in this next step let's focus on this triangle a b c and we know that this triangle is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case the longest leg is ac i'm going to call side c and this horizontal side i'm going to call a and this vertical side i'm going to call b and here's our pythagorean formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks and now we know that a b square is this one equation three i'm going to replace that one so i can write x square plus 3x plus 9 and likewise bc square in our case is this equation one which is 49 equals to ac square is equation two which is x square plus 5x plus 25 and here we can see this x square and this x square on both sides they are gone let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side that's going to be 3x plus 58 equal to 5x plus 25 let's rearrange let's move this 25 on the left hand side and at the same time 3x on the right hand side so we ended up with 58 minus 25 equal to 5x minus 3x so our x value turns out to be 33 divided by 2 and here's our final step we are going to calculate the area of this green triangle a p b and here's the formula that we will be using area equal to 1 over 2 times a b sine of theta in our case this 120 degrees is going to be our theta this 3 is going to be our a and this 33 over 2 is going to be our b and here's our formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so area equal to 1 over 2 times a in our case is 3 b is 33 divided by 2 sine of 100 and 20 degrees and we know that the sine of 120 degrees is square root of 3 over 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks over here so area is going to be simply on the top that's going to become 99 over 4 times square root of 3 divided by 2 so area turns out to be 99 times square root of 3 divided by 8 thus here's the area of, of this green triangle which is 99 times square root of 3 divided by 8 square units our area is going to be approximately equal to 21.434 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye